Hey everyone, this is Bhargav Sathar and today we will discuss uh, another very important algorithm. So that is Kruskal's algorithm. Okay, so in this session we will discuss uh, how to find a minimum spanning tree using Kruskal's algorithm. Now in previous uh, session we already discussed how to find uh, MS MST. So that is minimum spanning tree using Prim's algorithm. So just let us discuss the second algorithm. Okay, so uh, let us jump to the exam. So before proceeding the example, let us recall what is a minimum spanning tree. So first of all, let us discuss what is a tree. So it is a acyclic graph. So a graph which does not contain a cycle, that is a tree. Fine. Now what is a spanning tree? So what is a spanning tree? So first it has to be a tree. Fine. Then spanning tree. So a spanning tree, that means it should contain all the vertices of the given graph. Fine. And, and then uh, all the vertices are connected via an edge and it should be a acyclic graph okay so that is a spanning tree now what is a minimum spanning tree so it should be a spanning tree first and uh, what does that mean by this minimum so that means that that tree uh, should contain a minimum weight a tree of minimum weight so that is a minimum spanning tree fine now uh, in previous session we already discussed uh, how to find a minimum spanning tree using prim's algorithm so now we will discuss the same example using this Kruskal's algorithm okay so you can get the idea that uh, which, which method you should prefer fine so so the question is determine minimum spanning tree for the given graph using Kruskal's algorithm so this is the graph okay so this is uh, this is the same graph that we've discussed uh, in prim's algorithm okay so here see what we'll do uh, here uh, in prim's algorithm uh, we, we selected the vertices okay so in here we will select the edges of the minimum weights so first what we will do here we will uh, arrange all the edges in increasing order okay that means the weights fine according to the weights so what is the uh, edge which has the minimum weight so as you can see that this here uh, this is af so that has weight 1 now then this a and d so that has weight 2 then next 3 uh, so that means this fe so that has weight 3 then ed so that has weight 4 uh, then this dc or cd that has weight 5 then 5 then after 5 we have this ae so that is 6 then we have the 7 so that is db or bd then next 8 so that is bc and 9 we have fb so that has weight 9 and last we have this e and c so that is 10 okay so we have listed out all the uh, edges having this uh, weights in increasing order okay fine so next what we'll do just uh, so the same steps we will take all the vertices because see uh, it is the minimum spanning tree so it should contain all the vertices so we have just drawn all these vertices fine so now first step so instead of this selecting this uh, in prim cell algorithm instead of selecting the first vertex now here what we'll do we'll uh, select the edge so that has this minimum weight so here uh, one by one okay so here we have af that has the minimum weight so that is just take this af okay so the first step that is af so in prim's algorithm uh, the step was like this now in prim's algorithm we need to take this adjacent vertices that is uh, of having uh, minimum weight so that is uh, which are adjacent to f and a here no need to worry about all this now second what is this uh, second minimum edge so that is ad so just take this ad fine now then third step now what is this fe then third edge minimum edge fe so that is 3 so just take that uh, edge 3 then fourth ed okay so we have ed now see if we take this ed so the, uh, this graph will become or this graph will contain a cycle but that is not uh, possible uh, in this minimum spanning tree so we cannot take this ed for fine just uh, jump to the next edge so that is dc so we have dc that is phi so take phi okay uh, then what is this edge ae now if we take ae so see as you can see that this if we take this ae so it will again contain a cycle but it is not possible as we are looking for a minimum spanning and tree so a cyclic graph so this ae uh, cannot be there then next bd now this bd so we can draw this bd fine so this is bd now see uh, as you can see that we have covered all the vertices and which are connected and this is the minimum spanning tree 
but see we already uh, we are left with this three edges so what will happen if we take this uh, all these three edges the answer is this okay it is the minimum spanning tree but uh, by the steps of this crucial algorithm this three edges are left okay so let us take see if we take this bc equals to 8 so where is bc uh, this bc so that means uh, it will contain a cycle so this is not possible now if we take fb uh, this f and b so if we take this fb so it is possible but it is not uh, it won't be a minimum spanning tree okay so this fb uh, need not be there for minimum spanning tree it is a spanning tree but not a minimum spanning tree now if we take ec so if we take this ec uh, then again it will be a spanning tree but not the minimum so there is no need to do that uh, so what we uh, so what we'll check uh, it should contain all the vertices and all they are connected fine so this is the minimum spanning tree and let us uh, count the weight of this spanning tree so what is that weight so that means 1 3 2 5 and 7 equals to 18 now see uh, if you remember the last or previous session of prim's algorithm this answer was same and the graph was also same fine uh, but uh, in all the cases it won't be same fine so it is possible or it may possible that in prim's algorithm whatever the spanning tree we have got uh, it can be different in same example by using this crucial algorithm so no need to worry okay and yeah again this this second question so again if we have this two edges having same weight so what will be uh, what we can take so if we have two edges or uh, two three edges uh, of having same weight fine so in that case you can take any edge you want fine so you saw the answers will be according to that so this is how you can find a minimum spanning tree using this crucial algorithm thank you